Please welcome a powerful symbol of human rights. Her name is Lil Amal. What the hell was that? Hello and welcome back. In case you haven't figured out, the worst, most insane take on Hurricane Ian came from the event horizon of insane takes, the spew. Oh! We'll get right into this one, but first, give me 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from unitedwestandcoin.com. Here's a fact for you. Florida is reigniting debate after it rolled out Don't Tread On Me license plates earlier this month. Drivers in the Sunshine State can now order Don't Tread On Me license plates, complete with the yellow and black image of the Gadsden flag from the Revolutionary War. The new version of the Don't Tread On Me flag is the United We Stand Gold Challenge coin. Try, review, and inspect the United We Stand and coin with your own hands risk-free for 60 days simply by going to www.unitedwestandcoin.com or by just clicking the link in the description or pinned comment. It's free. Just cover the shipping. After entering your details, you'll receive your United We Stand coin to your doorstep in just a few short days. This is the quote from Governor DeSantis about climate change. Quote, I am not in the pews of the church of the global warming leftists <laughs> this is what he thinks about climate change and now his state is getting hit with one of the worst hurricanes well, that perhaps, they will ever see <laughs> oh my god wow it's like on one hand i'm enraged because once again she seems to be celebrating disasters upon her political opponents but then on the other, it's also hilarious because her response to the comparison of climate change to a sort of religious cult is to essentially accuse Ron DeSantis in Florida of being punished for their heresy. Seriously, just listen to what she says here. This is what he thinks about climate change. And now his state is getting hit with one of the worst hurricanes well, that perhaps, they will ever see. Perhaps. Now compare that. To this. And I don't know how much God has to do to get the attention of the politicians. We've had an earthquake, we've had a hurricane. It seems clear that the prophetic times I have been expecting for decades have finally arrived. Even worse, it appears that the judgment of America has begun. Did God have anything to do with Katrina, people ask? My answer is he allowed it. I'm not in the pews of the church of the global warming leftists. I'm just not. This is what he thinks about climate change. And now his state is getting hit with one of the worst hurricanes well, that perhaps, they will ever see. Wait a minute. Is there a little similarity there? Whoa, I think there is. She 100% said that Ron DeSantis brought this on Florida by speaking out against her religion. Not only that, but she is unsurprisingly dead wrong when she stupidly claims that this is the worst hurricane to hit Florida. They've had many hurricanes, up to and including Cat 5, which Ian wasn't. I think at its strongest, it was a Cat 4. Lastly, her entire crazy rant hinges on the belief that this hurricane had something to do with climate change, which it didn't. Don Lemon tried to spread this lie the other day and was instantly shut down by his NOAA scientist guest. Can you tell us what this is and what effect climate change has on this phenomenon? Well, we can come back and talk about climate change uh, at a later time. I want to focus on the here and now. <laughs> uh, so, listen, I just, I'm just trying to get that you said you want to talk about climate change, but what, what effect does climate change have on this phenomenon that, that is happening now? Because it seems these storms are intensifying. That's the question. I don't think you can link climate change to any one event. Okay. On the whole, on the cumulative, uh, climate change uh, may be making storms worse, uh, but uh, to link it to any one event, um, I, I would caution against that. Okay, well, they, uh, listen, I grew up there and these storms are intensifying. Something is causing them to in intensify. Shut up, scientist. Don Lemon is speaking. Don Lemon better than science. He lived in Florida one time and once theorized that the missing flight 377 was actually sucked into a wormhole. All right, I think that's all I have to say about that. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share this video, and leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks a lot.